Good evening, everybody, and welcome to a rainy San Diego, California for week 13 of the 2016 NFL season. Your Tampa Bay Buccaneers are on a skid. They look to turn things around against one of the best records in the AFC, the San Diego Chargers. We'll see if they can do just that tonight. Your key players to watch. Charles Sims, Doug Martin is out, Lewis Murphy because Vincent Jackson is out, and of course, famous Jameis Winston. If the Buccaneers can win out this season, it's a long shot, but they just might get enough help from everyone else in the league to contend for a division title. It all has to start here though, welcome to week 13. 10.20 to play in the second quarter. That's where we pick things up. 14-7, San Diego on top after a fumble recovery. And then a three and out. This one is going to go to Stevie Johnson from Phillip Rivers. He loses the ball, but he was already down. So even if it was reviewed, it wouldn't matter. Then first and 10 from the 47. This is Kelvin Benjamin, the former Panther. And he takes it to the 28 now five yards later on third and five rivers five step drop finds his go-to man keenan allen the number one receiver in all of san diego however the storybook uh drive yeah in and there up 21 7 now still 14 7 they were looking to keenan allen it did not happen brent grimes picked it off and he returns it to the four. Correction, that's actually Stevie Johnson. However, Charles Sims doesn't care, and neither does the Tampa Bay offense. Charles Sims all the way to the house. 84 yard. That is why you don't sit on anybody. And at halftime, San Diego would get that touchdown back that they were looking for. So 21-14 at half from Qualcomm Stadium, from San Diego Stadium, whatever you want to call it. Your Chargers, the hometown team, lead it by seven. Passing yards, Phillip Rivers closing in on 300 already, while Charles Sims and James Winston have a buck 43 on the ground. Some highlights and notes to cover. The sack game, yeah, each team... Has at least three sacks already. That's a one point of key interest to look out into the second half. And then, of course, Charles Sims, Danny Wooded, that running back matchup. Charles Sims has dominated, but Danny Woodhead right there on your screen. He gave the Chargers the seven point lead heading into halftime. Charles Sims, a buck 41, two touchdowns. Phillip Rivers, 290 and a touchdown. Danny Wood had 32 yards, a touchdown. And for Jameis Winston, he has 113 yards, only missing four completions. So, second half about to kick off. And here we go, guys. Can the Buccaneers get back into it? 13 20 to play in the third. This one is going to find Mike Evans for a five yard pickup. So far, Winston, buck 17, 13 for 19. However, we called Charles Sims' name once. Well, this time we're going to call the other big man on campus, Austin Safarian Jenkins. He goes to the house, and this ball game is tied once more, 63 yards, and that puts Winston at 180 yards. So, what can the Chargers do? Well, that's going to be a problem because Major Wright forces the fumble and who else? Brent Grimes picks it up and a quick turnover leads to famous Jameis using those famous legs just like he did at Florida State and he actually gives the Buccaneers the lead. 31-24 flag would go against San Diego so this little run by Winston, don't worry about it. And already in the second half, Tampa Bay is showing their strength. It is in the rain, and the defense, well, they've shown up. 6.40 to play in the last quarter of the game. Winston goes down. 
that is sack number of five for Corey Lugit on this season. However, Roberto Aguayo, that's in his range, and he makes it a 10-point game. So now 4.50 to play, less than five minutes to go in the final quarter, down 10. Phillip Rivers, yeah, thanks for coming and playing at home, but that seven-win record does not mean anything to a team that's possibly trying to win out or play spoiler. However, Tampa Bay's drive would subdue, and Roberto Aguayo would come on to the field again, make it a 13-point game. But that wasn't it, folks. With a no-huddle offense and the last play of the game, Tampa Bay's already won. How about a little salt to the wound? Rivers gets sacked, and the slowest man on the roster, let's be honest, the slowest man on the roster, William Goldston, picks it up from the three-yard line, and he's taking it to the house. He is never going to let go of that ball. And he scores a touchdown. Really doesn't mean anything except for Tampa Bay. Give him that motivation heading into next week against New Orleans. Give him that motivation that we can turn the season around. Your final from San Diego Stadium. 44-20 for Tampa Bay. Well, it's a shock because A, that's her fourth win of the year. And B, it's a win on the year. We will see you guys later next week. When Tampa Bay takes on New Orleans. We'll see you later. Have a good one everybody. Drive home safely. Once again your final. Buccaneers 44. Chargers 24.